Hello everybody, my name is David, you can call me Rev, and I'm currently ad-libbing this right now because I'm not sure if things are recording, but they are. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV and Walk. In the previous episode, we finally got to take a break, and we interacted with every one of our teammates, albeit in different timelines. Kind of. This time, the sky's aflame. We saw something going very, very strangely here. Oh, Vendor, I was just about to call for you. I'm afraid we received another call for assistance. This one calls from Razad Han. The others have assembled in the main hall to discuss the situation. Let's join them as once. That's totally not foreboding or concerning because that was the big black blotch on the map last time I checked. Ah, there you are. Um, our worst years have come to pass, but moments ago, we received grim tidings from our contact in Rods at Han. Wild beasts have appeared as if out of nowhere, claiming one victim after the next. What's more, they say the very sky burns above them. Seems like the final days have already started to be upon us. Good gods. Are the final days already upon us? Looks like it. It would appear so. Sadly, that is all the information we have at the present. No doubt the people of Rods at Han are busy fighting for their lives. We must go at once. They need our help. Agreed, Kryle. You best remain here with Tataru and gather what knowledge you can. You're no condition for a long journey, I imagine. Very well. Similar phenomena may be observed elsewhere. If so, we must know about it at once. I'm like excited, but also like nervous. Be safe out there, yeah? Let's, fir let's first make for uh, Yeldama. We must prepare ourselves for what may lie ahead. Ooh. I'm like not ready. Wait, it says journey to Thavnir. It doesn't say, am I still good to TP there? Well, I mean, that's the only way we can get there actually. So yes, we have no choice but to just assess the situation and make sure that everybody's okay. God, like, like it's been a while, I guess for me, like in a video game where I'm just like, oh my God, it's like so hype, it's so cool. And lo, vile beasts did rise. Holy crap. Leaving naught in their wake but blood and ash. Sun scorches earth and boils seas. And our sins ascend unto the heavens. Three dooms to unmake all we were. Wait a minute, we're all together. <clears throat> the sky burns. The final days are truly upon us. My friends, I trust you have heard the news. We have. What can you tell us of the situation, Your Excellency? Last night, the isle was rocked by tremors, and the earth itself cried out. Aloft, the heavens began to burn. From all about, unholy beasts the likes of which we had never seen, came forth in fury and rage. No. To say they came forth would be inexact. 
The people of Radzat Han themselves Wait. transformed into these baleful fiends. Wait, what? Though the phenomenon was observed throughout our lands, the first creature, the largest and most dreadful of the lot, wrought havoc upon us here in our fair city. Though they bear superficial resemblance to divinities of legend, they are ungodly abominations. The people decry them as blasphemies. The Large One's rampage has since taken it to the northern reaches of the island. I mean to dispatch our radiant host in an attempt to quell the threat. And what of Vritra? Vitra too makes for the north of his own accord, and yet... He knows the blasphemy and its minions were but yesterday his beloved people. I pray his boundless compassion and mercy does not deter him from taking unenviable but necessary action. Understood. I ask that you allow us to aid you in quelling this threat. You would risk your lives to help us yet again. What do you mean? That's what's like, no it's the end of the world. Take any help you can get. Our regiments approach the north from several directions, with a number of units set to depart from the docks of Yetlima. They will make landfall in an area of dense jungle, where one can expect to encounter dangers even beyond the fell beasts we hunt. I leave you to your preparation. You will find me at the docks when you It is dungeon to... time. I was gonna say that would make the most sense. It's either an instance or a dungeon, and I'm but I'm pretty sure it's a dungeon because we're all gathered together. That would make the most sense. We're as prepared as we'll ever be. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Huh. Oh, is it not dungeon time? Okay, but this song is a vibe though. Okay. Everyone has assembled, yes? I thank you for lending us your aid in our battle against the blasphemy. Let us review our plan of attack. I would have you board this boat and circle around to the north side of the island. There you would find a dense jungle we call Banaspat. It's a sacred rule, but home to many temples and a number of villages. Vitra and the Radiant Host have gone there ahead of us. I ask that you join them and do all in your power to destroy this blasphemy. Yep. What was it? That was. Yep, Vanaspati. Dungeon time. It didn't even like it didn't click with me that we were about to hit a dungeon until I realized that we were all gathered here together. But as always, this flavor text time. Usually, the most dangerous foe in a worm's domain is the worm themselves. If I were Vitra, I would be offended as I am more horrified. Innocent souls twisted and reformed into unholy abominations. I thought I had seen the last such nightmares with sin eaters. Must act quickly, Vendor. Every moment we tarry means another soul may be lost in this nightmare. I shall survey the environs closely as we go about our search. There may be a clue as to how we can combat this phenomenon. If it's true that the people themselves have been transformed into beasts, why? Even the radiant host could suffer the same fate, or us perish the thought. Don't worry, no matter how things how grim things get, I won't lose heart. I'm ready whenever you need me. So the beasts are not born of creation magics run amok, but are rather altered forms of the people themselves. In that sense, this manifestation of the final days differs from, from that which you witnessed in Amaral. 
and for the worst, I dare say. If any man, woman, or child could become a beast at any moment, there's no telling whether the next threat might come. You must exercise extreme caution. So, just so everybody's aware, I know exactly who I'm bringing for this party. All right. So, because Vitro, Vitro is involved, I'm gonna bring Stinian. And between Alphano and Graha, I think Graha's probably the more contextual um, important healer. And last but not least, Yustola. So I had decided to bring Yustola along just so you guys know, just because um, I figured that it would be, for one, a little, a little bit different. I have about brought Alice in the last two dungeon parties. And plus, I think that she has does have a little bit more contextual importance. All right, on a spot. Team. Let's do this. The skies are with Abner are aflame, and panic spreads through the populace like wildfire. One by one, civilians are twisted into grotesque fiends, hells bent on slaughtering everything in sight. The deadliest of these creatures leads his newly spawned kin through the jungle towards a number of smaller settlements. And as such, Iwan has dispatched his radiant host to forestall the carnage. Through Vitra too, lends the strength to the cause, even that may prove insufficient. And thus do the silence enter the fray. And now we don't have any assistance this time, so I will be actually, you know, actually careful. All right. And because I'm actually gonna be careful, even though this song is like an absolute bop. What is that? These guys still do hurt a crap ton. I think now though, since we're 86, I believe I now have access to the, um, I can't remember the name of the move, but it's the one move that, uh, um, it was a continuation into, from Burst Strike. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, ready to blast. Or whatever it's formally called. My friends, heed me. These are children of Stavne. Forgive me. I can do them no harm. You poor, I was gonna say, I understand these are your people, man, but you gotta, you gotta keep the pe your people who are currently like alive, you know? Wait, Wait are we gonna ride Vitra? Okay, thank you. But yeah, I'm just one, I was gonna say, there's like a lot that I'm thinking about, but at the same time, I'm just like, man, um, these uh, monsters are weird. All right, once it gets to about five seconds on, uh, I already forgot the name of the ability. Uh, Rampart. Gonna do my double, my, my little double regen combo. Allow me. There we go. I was about to say, Rahad really knows how to match that cure too, though. Love that for him. All right, what's gonna be our first boss here? Oh. Holy crap, he's a little bulky. Mount off. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, that was not where I was supposed to be. All right, now that I understand how that works a little bit better, I should be more prepared. There's a mouth behind me. Oh, this mouth isn't open. I get it. Oh, no. All right, is there a mouth behind me? It is this way. Okay, over here. That's how you tell. Oh, oh, you can't switch it up like that. Okay, we did it. I was gonna say first boss down. I just hope that something that scares me is that um, that Vitra is going to be turning into one of the abominations. I'm just like, 
stakes are so high, man. I don't even know what to like talk about anymore because I'm just so like excited to see where exactly this leads. But I mean, just last I look at the devastation around this area. But I guess this gives me time to kind of, you know, think about just everything that's happened so far since we've been on the moon. We found a way to get out. Oh, no, wait. Oh, anyone who... Yeah, so the big thing that I've noticed is that anyone who gives in to despair is going to transform. That is what I've noticed. It doesn't look like it. But yeah, I think the biggest thing that I've noticed so far is that when, when people give up and think that, you know, there's not anything more that they can do, um, that's when they transform. Because think about it, the kids had faith to go and escape, but as soon as they saw that their mom gave up, they ended up giving up, which... It's so sad to me. I don't know why that particular one just got to me. But I guess that... No, no, no. I, I know why. Because that's when I realize what's actually like going on. At least better item level wise. But it doesn't actually shift my... What is that? Well, I was about to say, what kind type of Eldritch Horror is like... Yoshi P like relying on for reference for this expansion like oh no graha not the medical one okay four bubbles those are a lot of bubbles okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna arm's length this yeah i'm not sure okay so oh That reminds me of the uh, Titania fight. The begins for this one were a lot easier to like read and understand. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Oh no! 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 I'm sorry. I thought you were the volume button. Okay, so just so everybody knows, my secondary monitor off to the side is my TV, and I accidentally just turned it from the HDMI connection to the, uh, well, I'll say I use my, uh, my secondary monitor is actually a TV. That's the thing that I keep looking at to like check the time of the recording and everything. But I wanted to turn up the volume a little bit because I wanted to listen to like the dungeon themes and stuff more. But what had actually happened is that I accidentally changed the channel to a channel on the TV. And I was like, wait, no, I don't have channels. Please, I want my computer back. Luckily, Harder Conundrum is such a spammable ability, so I'm actually so happy that I have. Oh, oh, okay, 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 AoE it is, AoE it is. That, I'll be real, that genuinely took me off guard for a second. Okay. We're doing okay, David. You didn't die this dungeon run. That was because you decided to play it safe. You want to know what playing safe means? Playing safe means you get to live. Okay, it's boss time. Um, th oh, it's, it's this thingy. Like, we fought a version of this as Amarada as a regular boss. Um, thank you for the entrance, I think? Blasphemy. Sparbanu. Sparbanu. I swear this boss theme always goes in. I love the Endwalker boss theme. Okay. I don't like that that's a hand. That's I feel like that's supposed to be symbolic. Okay. Let's get started. Flames of Decay. That sounds like a raid wide. I'm 
to cast Aurora, so that way Grawl doesn't have to worry about me nearly as much. Okay, so there's... Okay, so I'm guessing because I am... Do I want to go to the color that matches? No, I don't. I No, I do not. I do not want to go to the color that matches. Okay, so... I guess this is going to be something I remember. So I'm blue, so that means I have to go to red. Yep. All right, Tank Buster. We're going to cast two cooldowns. Just trying to mitigate as much damage as we can. Okay, so I want to get knocked into blue, which means that I'm going backwards. Oh, no. Wait, wait. That's not that's not how that worked. That was definitely not how that worked. I know I should have just cast at arm's length and just went about my day. All right. Crumbling sky sounds like meteors. Thank you. Oh, I was supposed to be looking. That would help. Okay. Sir, you foul for that. All right, come on. Get over here. All right, another flames decay. All right, so the two blues are over there. Gonna knock me back. So I want to kind of stay close. I'm gonna use actually the arm. Oh, I didn't put on the arm's length fast enough. All right, tank buster time. Just trying to make sure that I stay alive first and foremost. Because would have been it would have been ironic for me to talk all this. Alright, flames decay. Honestly, I'm gonna use heart of light too. Gotta do that team wide mitigation, yo. So what are we dealing with this time? Knockback? So I'm on blue, which means I want to be over here. Except it did not put me over there. It instead just continued to knock me back. I see you, game. Okay, I'm going to have one more Nash and Fink combo before my next Dome Mercy window. That's good. I don't have reprisal up, so everybody's just going to have to face tank this. I figure that's honestly no big deal. Because the fight's about to be wrapped up anyway, because the boss is nearly dead. The boss that I did not play very well at all. There we go. Boss is gone. And with that, I think I also need to wrap up the episode here, because for one, I need to make some hard drive space. And... Two, there's more than likely going to be a cutscene after this, and this episode's already been running for a very long time. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping in and watching today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. And next time, we're going to be seeing exactly what can we do. But I've been but I've been paying attention. I have a couple theories, so we're going to end off with this chest, and I will see you guys all in the next one and also all my description socials discord stuff